Okay, so somehow uh, Hope, Stefan and Hope, made it on my top 100 songs on Spotify. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> so just since it wasn't like a, a song I was raving about, but usually the songs I rave about also don't end up being the songs to make my top 100. Some of them do, but not necessarily the number ones. Um, I tend to listen to them as like sweet comfort listens, right? Um, anyway, for some reason, we're gonna try this and see how it goes. I'm like, ah, eh, I'm doing San Remo. Eventually, I will watch my Lady Festival and I'm like, I still all. Sure, why not? But then I saw his 20 songs. Girl. Anyway. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna listen to them all now. Um, hopefully I won't take long, but it's 20 songs, so it probably will. I do have them in alphabetical order. That is how we will be proceeding. So we will be starting with Alika, Bridges, a quick look over. I don't recognize anyone, maybe M-E-L-S, and maybe Sissy I've heard of. Um, that I can think of off the bat. Maybe I've heard of other ones. I don't know. But let's get to it. Yes. Okay, piano. To solid ground. Ooh, solid ground. This is sounding really lovely so far. And, you know, um, in terms of starting point i think i'm really excited for this oh wow i have to listen to this again i think yeah i have it on fast wow okay no wonder it was up my alley so much it's not that bad it's just a bit slower told myself i've died i belong Before. I'm loving all that she's doing with her voice. It's very much putting all the weight behind it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Ooh. Are we going to have a uptick? Ooh. Bridges. Oof. Yes. You know, it's saved to the playlist. It's saved to my my personal playlist, my personal library. Oh yes. Mmm. Ooh. Da 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 da. Wow. All right. That's gonna be a hard one to beat. That's gonna be a hard one to beat. I feel like so far where we're going. Um, but number one that we've listened to so far, number one on the ranking so far, next up should be Andreas Poom with Why Do You Love Me? If this is the type of quality we're getting across the board, poof, we're in for a treat. Okay. There's a million reasons why you should have left me behind. Call you back. Off the bat at this point, 17 seconds in, um, it's going number two. Could change, however. So the, the voices so far are so lovely, so I, I'm wanting this this level, right? All these thoughts in my head make it all such a mess. All these thoughts in Comparatively, uh, the song from Bridges hits me more emotionally. This is just Pretty Young Man singing it in the Heartbreak type song. I should guess she could argue they're both her, but... I don't know, this isn't doing it for me. Ooh. This is pretty sounding. This this portion sounds like it'd be popular with the youths. Fortunately or unfortunately, I can see the appeal and I could see that doing really well. You know, it's not my jam, but it's not meant to represent me, right? Um, uh, next up is Annette and Freddie. 
So, so far it's going Alitha with Bridges first, then Andreas with Why Do You Love Me second so far. We're moving on to Annette and Freddie, or Annette x Freddie. We need to move on. A lot of songs in English, I don't necessarily see. Okay, let me see. One, two, three, four, maybe five or six that look like they're in uh, Estonian. Okay. There's also one that looks to see, have a Japanese name, so let's move on to number three. Ooh, okay. Ooh. This is, this is, these are my genres. These are my vibes, right? The, the richness of voice, the, oh, this is, this is just, this is just me. I know which song is maybe hitting me more initially, emotionally, but we're going to give it time to marinate. Very much giving soulful jazzy lounge, which is not a bad thing. You need to move on. I thought I lost a battle, but I won the war. I love it. It sounds great. My question is, how how much of a song is this? How easy is this uh, as a song to sing along? I question that. Okay, so initially my gut is that this is going to, I just want to make sure and check because like, like Bridges, I'm also saving this in my personal library, but something about it and in terms of how it flows, like I said, the lyrics, how easy is it of a song to just pick up them and sing along to? I don't know. Well, let me just give it a quick listen. So yeah, it's going to go for now. So far, Alika, Annette, Freddie, and then Andreas. Um... Have I been missing out? Has 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 all just been all just been um pumping out songs of this quality this whole time and I've just not been partaking? Um, I don't know that that's the case because of <laughs> how I reacted to previous songs. Well, of how of how I reacted to Hope. That was not super for me, but it also was again because I'm my top hundred. Anyway, um let's continue on with number four. Mm mm mm. Bedwetters Monsters, yes. Why are we dressed like this? I'm a child, I'm a boy, I'm a living freaking hell, and I'm a boy. Okay, fast. To a different kind of spell, but I've been waiting here for you. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I could see it. I could see it going really easy. Um, but let's listen. Change if you avoid all the storms, then you're the monsters. Oh. Giving Finland. <laughs> My gut reaction is that this is going to be number three. Um, I think it's. I can dance to it, so it goes above Andreas immediately. <laughs> and it's probably catchier than Annette and Freddie, but that song just hits me. So it's just going to go number three for now. Monsters. Next up, fifth of twenty to get us twenty five percent of the way is Carlos Lucareda Whiskey Won't Forget. I wonder sometimes maybe I still can't. Why are we getting like Western twang with like a hint of early two thousands boy pop? I don't know. This is a radio song. This is a driving in the country radio song. This is a summer at the mall song. Levi's jeans. Are Levi's big outside of the U.S. to make it into a song lyric? And this Estonian music. Okay, I. Uh, if I heard this song and you told me this was an up and coming American singer, um, you know, competing in a song contest, I would say his name is Jesse. Maybe he's from. Uh, Texas, Arkansas, somewhere, somewhere in the southeast, I would say. Uh, but maybe also somewhere urban in the southeast, because, you know, he looks like he has a bit of rough and tumble to him. I don't know. And i just be like, okay, it sounds like a playable song on the radio. I don't know, though. 
Again, none of these are bad songs. Okay, these are my rankings. So we've come to five of 20, and this is be maybe my, my fifth. I'm just not connecting to it like that. So it's going to go Alika, Annette, and Freddie, Bedwetters, Andreas, and Carlos. Let's move on to the next set of five. So that's how I'm recording these in batches for, for ease for me, right? The next one up is a lit pretty girl. Let's listen to her or they or I don't know. I assume the gender. I don't know. Actually, let's just listen. Okay, soulful esque. Is that a band? This music video off rip looks like something from the early 2000s, mid 2000s, with the angle, with the scoping lens looking type thing. I thought that the voice was going to be more soulful. I, I, I did like that, that instrumental breakdown there, but so far that's most of what I'm looking at the song. It's kind of giving Eden's crush and Anastasia had a child who didn't necessarily have, well, I mean, Eden's crush was in super, super vocal privacy. Anyway. That also sounds like some Neo soul, so I'm very confused. It's not as bad as, as I'm making it out to be. It just seems so random with the rest of the songs. This seems like a song that would play on the radio and do we just groove along to. Like I said, Anastasia and Eden's Crush, a mashup. Some of the, the early portions of it, the the speaking portion of it just seems like unnecessary, but. Why don't you Even the tinted glasses, even the tinted glasses is giving early 2000s. <sighs> is that the next trend music wise? I, my initial gut was to put it underneath Carlos, but now I want to go back and give it a listen because I'm not entirely sure about that because with time just kind of grew on me so yeah after listening to the two songs again and comparing um noah leap is going right above carlos it's just uh whiskey don't won't forget it's not a bad sounding song it just i don't want to say it lacks flavor but it's not like ooh, what is this new dish what is this new taste on my tongue i feel like i've i've heard i've, I've tasted this taste before. I've heard that type of song before and it's not sparking anything new. So right now it's going to go uh, Alika, Annette, Bedwetters, Andreas, Elip, and Carlos. Next up is Alyssa Bad Philosophy. Okay, 80s, I guess. I mean, it's a heavy 80s, obviously. It's not a guessing so much. Okay. Okay. You turn with me. Okay, I'm liking this. It's catchy. It's very catchy. This is going in the top somewhere. I don't know where though yet. New the way, bad philosophy. This is this is a front runner. I don't know. It's gonna go at least bedwetters. Somewhere in that vicinity so far, so. Open up the door. My love is like a bad faith philosophy. Now to figure out where this is going res with respect to the other songs, because I like this song a lot. Okay, I've listened to the songs, and I've decided this is going to be my new number two. So it's going to go... Alika, Alyssa, and Annette, and then as previously follows. Um, this is catchier, this is not catchier, easier to sing along to than uh, Annette and Freddie's song. Even though I, maybe objectively I could make the argument that I find and I'm pretty song more beautiful or, or smoother listening to my ears. But this is just really nice. It puts me in a nice mood. Catchy. It's easy to sing along to. Um, but 
the bridges. We just, we, the emoting from left song can't be beat so far for me. So let's continue on with the next song, which should be Inger Awaiting You. Yes. Okay, catchy. Sounding. You know, a song really just has to be danceable or head boppable for me to be like, you get a, you get a pass. So I already know this is hovering around bedwetters. We'll figure out where afterwards. Make up your mind. said it's hovering around bedwaters but I don't uh, so I think it's gonna go but I'm also like looking at a lip I'm just like okay let me let me go figure that out all right so this actually wasn't as hard as I expected it to be uh once I gave it a quick listen and what hurt sounded best to my ears respectively so now it goes Alika, Alyssa, Annette, and Freddie uh anger and Bedwaters, Andreas, Alip, and Carlos. That's it. Okay. All right, we've got two more in this set of five. Let's get to that. The next one up should be Yannick, House of Grass. Glass, House of Glass. Ooh. Okay, voice. Can we just stop for a Clear t clearness. And what kind of life are and what we kind living? of life are we living? Give me something to believe. I like. How many tears, Ooh. How many are we gonna build to fastness? We We're fine here too. Like it was. Like it was. Oh. 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 We built, we built to fast. I heard it. A lot of times songs will, you know, tease the building to fast and then not build to fast. But we're building to fast. We built to fast. Okay. How did we let it? Does it take to know what we are? What we are. How we are. Oof. How many skies? Oof. Oof, oof, oof. And like almost immediately. <laughs> we hit the build part, especially. But like almost immediately. I'm like, okay, this is definitely going at least above anger, which puts it um, in top four at least. And now I'm like, maybe top three? So let me go figure out where that's going. Oh, lovely. This is going to be maybe a controversial statement at this point. But for now, it's going to say number three. I feel like between this song and Alyssa, Alyssa's song is just so, Bad Philosophy is just so catchy. I can easily be like, mm, skim the list of songs I want to just quick listen to and sing along to. It's Alyssa. That's the catchiest song so far. Um, but House of Glass also has just beautiful soaring arcs like Bridges. But Bridges is still not being beat. The, you know, Bridges is still kind of slow, but that's how it's going right now. So right now it's going to go Alika, Alyssa, Yannick, Annette, and Freddie, Inger, Bedwetters, Andreas, Alip, and Carlos. Uh, we've got, we got one more in this group of five, and that is uh, Ka Valak. All right, I've got the lyrics from Lyrics Translate on here. It looks to be in Estonian, and it says choice, so... This is just audio. We're just gonna listen. Let's get to it. Um, this falls along the lines of that. Skater punk, emo boy, young pop punk type of, uh, I mean, even, even the, the, the artwork for the album, right? Um, but it's catchy. 
and that caught me off guard. So initially I was like, okay, this is going to be 10 out of 10. But I don't think that's the case. Let me go give it a quick look, see, listen, look, listen here, look, look, whatever. And this is why, this is why comparative listens are so important because like I said, my first thought was, oh, this is going 10. No, now it's, now it's five. And I could argue maybe it should be four, but I'm gonna keep it five for now. I just, I feel like, I feel like the subsequent listens, I'll just be dancing to this a lot and the, damn, I'm out. It's, it's just, so for now it's gonna say five. So right now it's gonna go, Bridges, Alika, Bad Philosophy, Elisa, House of Glass, Yannick, You Need to Move On, Annette and Freddie, Valak, Ka, Awaiting You, Inger, Monsters, Bedwetters, Why Do You Love Me, Andreas, Pretty Girl, Ellip, and Whiskey Won't Forget. We've got 10 more to go. Yeah. And let's continue on with Lena Lake, Lena Lack, and Bonzo Egg. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It sounds almost Christmas-like. I'm very intrigued by this opening shot, but okay. Okay, soft. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Ooh, they sound lovely. It's a lot of instruments. Toll? Okay. This feels very intimate, and I don't know if I'm comfortable with that, but okay. <laughs> Ooh, this... This feels very intimate. I feel like I'm watching into someone's room. It doesn't feel comfortable. I got... I got a... Yes, please turn away. Fade to black. I think it sounds lovely. Um, and it's soft and it's an Estonian. You know, um... But is it maybe we have like a lot of empty spaces? Is my question. So let me go listen and figure out where this is going. All right. So Lena Locke and Bonzo with I. That is going below Andreas and above Ellip. Uh, I think the song from Ellip, Pretty Girl, is similar in where it has these empty spaces of song. But I like this one better than that one. And then I guess with, again, subsequent listens, Andreas is starting to grow enough on me that I think it's above this one. So that's where it's going for now. The next song should be ML ML's. I, I don't know how that's parsed out. Okay, let's listen to that one next. I did hear like a couple seconds, so sounds upbeat. So good at what you do. I've been on the road for way too long. I've been seeing Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Well produced. At first, I was like, oh, this is going around Inger. And I'm like, or is it going above Ka? And I'm like, is it going above Annette and Freddy? So I, I have to go give it a quick, you know, you already know. I'm in the middle of listening right now, and I just want to say that Monsters and So Good at What You Do somehow sound familiar, like it would be a really good mashup. I'm so, like the da 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 what you do, da 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 Okay, well, this is the beginning part. Anyway, okay, so I've decided, and uh, ML's is going below Yannick and above Annette and Freddie. So, uh, we're going Alika, Alyssa, Yannick, ML's, Annette, and Fre Freddie. Claw Inger, Bedwetters, Andreas, Lena Locke, Elip, and Carlos. So next up should be Milik. To you, to you, I don't know. We'll hear it. Yes. To you, to you. <laughs> to you. I think I like this more than Ka, so theoretically it should go higher than Ka. Do you, do you, do you know what I mean? For you. Ugh, had to catch that early. Um, 
Oof. Um, so this is going to be going above cough, which means it should be in the top uh, six. But where? I've taken it back. I've taken it back. I've taken it back. I'm going to go with my gut and move this up to where I think it should be for my listening tastes and preferences, which will put it at the new number two. Fight me if you want. <laughs> Won't do much. Um, so it's going to go Alika, Milik, Alyssa, Yannick, Mls, Annette, Freddie, Ka, Inger, Bedwaters, Andreas, uh, Lina Lock, Elip, and Pretty, excuse me, and Carlos. So let's continue on. Next up is Merlin Unicorn Vibes. I could bring you the rain, but bring you the stars. I could show you. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna giggle a lot of this yet so far. I don't know. I don't know yet. Unicorn vibes. Okay, we're gonna look yes. You'd like to fly to Mars? Hold on, I gotta I gotta listen to, I gotta find the lyrics for this. <laughs> In the moonshade, there's something better for you. Turn on the unicorn vibes. What what are these lyrics and yet I'm entranced? <laughs> I like it though. Or drink at Gitsy bars. <laughs> this lyrics. It's a lot of flashing though. This video is not super fun. Better for you. Turn on the unicorn vibes. <laughs> the song, I want to say, half feels parodic, but also not. But also, it just feels good to sing along to. So I think off of that, I, I kind of know where it's going in respect to other songs. I want to say it's going somewhere above a lip. Okay, now this is just going off of, you know, I'm like, do I like this song better or can I, do I see myself electing to to pick this song to listen to first? Uh, and going off the ladder, this has moved up high. Now, some may disagree with me, some may not. This is going to go all the way up so that it's sitting right below ML's. So this is my number six. Unicorn Vibes. It's also like the shortest song, so it's just like a quick, fun listen to. So, you know, for how it makes me feel, that's where it's going. So, right now it's gonna go. Uh, Alika, Milik, Elisa, Yannick, ML's, Merlin, Annette, Freddy, Ka, Inger, Bedwetters, Andreas, Elip, Carlos, you, I keep, that's how I have them written down. Um, so I think we should have one more in this group of five, and that is Mia Uksum. We'll hear it. We'll hear it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I have the lyrics pulled up. It's translated to as one step at a time. But what song is it? One step at a time, falling in love. I forget who sings that song. But that's the plot of mine immediately. So... Let's see where Mia ends up going, yes. feel like this has especially the it sounds like it would be a, an epic dance song uh to be remixed or something so and i just it just it's just an issue of uh the biggest issue is at parts the production doesn't sound super super much um uh also Uksam Karaga, like, i feel like we could have it said more but it's also fine because some songs are just like that, right? Where do I want this to go? Where do I want this to go? Where is this gonna go for me? How long am I listening to this song again? And where? Okay, so it just sounds best here that this is not gonna go beneath Bedwaters. So it's gonna go Alika, Mulek, Elisa, Yannick, Mel's, or ML's. Uh, Merlin, Annette, and Freddie, Ka, Inger, Bedwetters, Mia, Andreas, 
uh, Lena Locke, Elliot, and Carlos. So now we have five left. Moving on to 16 of 20. Neon Letters and Michael, Tokimeki. I had lyrics pulled up on Lyrics Translate. Let's get to it. Yeah. Neon Letters and Michael. It's like fine. It's just upbeat, and I, I, I'm not finding where to grab to be like, ooh, this is the song. This is the distinctiveness of the song. Maybe you have to do with the beat. Kono feeling. Kono feeling. Kono feeling. I love that part. I love that part. Let's hear it again. Uh, my initial re thought is that it's going to go somewhere above Andreas because at this point it's become not only how much I think the song is beautiful compared to other songs, but uh, how likely I am to pull it out of the list and be like, I listen to this song again. So um, I'm thinking it's going above Andreas or around Andreas, but I got to give it another listen. Maybe it should go above me as well. Feel free to fight me. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I ran out of cares to give. This is number eight now. So this is gonna go right below Annette and Freddie. It's gonna go Alika, Milik, Alyssa, Yannick, M. Els, Merlin, Annette, and Freddie. Then this song, which is Neon Letters and Maiko. Then Claw, Anger, Bedwaters, Mia, Andreas, Lena Luck, Elip, and Carlos. Got four left. The next one is Ali Venom. Shadows underneath. It already sounds like Carlos, so. Early 2000s rock. Okay. I'm a and I didn't say I didn't. I didn't like it. I like it. So. Ah. Bet. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Okay. We've got the rock. We've got the throwback nostalgia. We've got. Maybe some vocals. I don't know if that's entirely aided by um, effects or not. Okay. The flashing is unnecessary, though. Is this going to be the Stefan of this year? I, I mean, not really in that sense because I like this song. It just feels like it's very broad appeal. <sighs> I'm not mad at it. Immediately I know what's going above Merlin. This is gonna go above ML's and below Heart of Glass, making it my new number five. Well, let's continue on to number uh eighteen. Um Number 18 should be. As Kurbus Masa said, presumably we'd hear it, right? So. All right, and it translates to Funeral of Sadness. Okay. Somber tone. Let's get it. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. This is doing things. Okay. Okay. I'm about this. Oh, 
This is this is funky. This is funky, and I don't know what's happening, but it's funky. Oof. Yana da 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 da. da. Not sure why there's like a light flashing on this black and white thing, but okay. It's giving like Tame Impala vibes. I'm not sure why that's um it's giving like Tame Impala vibes almost. My epilepsy is not super photosensitive, but it's enough that it's annoying, so <laughs> anyway, I like this. This is funky. This is a funky, funky song. If it feels good on a listen through, it might go around top five. So let's let me go do that right now. Okay, so you know I start when I listen, my listen through. I start from bottom top. I start from the bottom. I click around where I think it might go, and if it's more, I continue on. Um, so I don't necessarily start from the top and listen to the, the bottom. So um, I'm gonna put it right above Merlin. It's gonna be my new number seven. It's gonna go so good at what you do. Kudbu Sematsu said, and then Unicorn Vibes. So, let's continue on with 19. And I know I recognize Sissy as a name, Lighthouse. I want to say. I want to say, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, <laughs> Sissy Lighthouse, let's listen. Yes. It's slow. It's, like, very slow. So far. I like the video the most so far, I think. There's that. It's kind of giving... Oh my gosh. I want to be close to my mother. And yeah, I promise you, it's all in our secret. Montaigne. It's kind, of, it's kind of... She's kind of giving Montaigne. Yeah. Get to the bones. I once made a promise. Okay. It's it's catchy. It's catchy. Silently keeping my promises. I once made a promise. Oof. I'm thinking it's gonna go around Inger and their ups maybe. Maybe their downs. Let's let me go see about that. Okay, so I decided that Sissy is gonna go above caught i think that's what i just decided right now so that's my number 11 and we've got one more left the last one is will we 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 are out salalik we out salalik secretive is what the uh, lyrics translate translation has so let's continue on and listen yeah Okay, more of this twangy western sound. Interesting. This is, you're at the local bar <laughs> in the south or the west. And the local band that does the rounds in the two, three surrounding states, uh, you know, it's performing and everyone's gotten up and, and is dancing, singing along. That's what it's giving so far. I like it. I like it. Um, I'm thinking it's go gonna go around again, Inger and Ups, maybe. But let's let me see where I end up putting it. All right, I've put it below Bedwetters uh, with Monster. So, from top to bottom, I have uh, Bridges, Alika, Tuju Milik, Bad Philosophy Elisa, House of Glass, Yannick, Venom Ali, So Good at What You Do, MLs, Kurbuse, Matuset, Robin, Sankam J, uh, Unicorn Vibes, Merlin, you Need to Move On, Annette Freddy, Neon Letters, Maiko, uh, Tokimeki, Lighthouse, Sissy, Valak, Ka, Awaiting You, Inger, Bedwaters, Monsters, Salik, Uiralt, Uksam Koraga, Mia, Why Do You Love Me, Andreas, 
Egg, Lena Lack, Andrus Albrecht, Pretty Girl, Elip, and Whiskey Won't Forget, Carlos Lucarreda. So, um, there are some I think I'd be surprised if they won. Um, and then, but I can also see circumstances, context for which different songs might win, even the ones that might surprise me. Um, Andrea seems to have like What's the word? It seems like a charismatic, a charismatic presence, so I wouldn't be surprised. Let's go forget Venom by Ollie and then Salah Lake. They all have this Western vibe, so kind of like last year with Stefan, right? Uksam Kurag I like, by which I feel like it needs more production. You need to move on is really nice. It just seems to be very wordy. Yeah, but I'm very excited to see who ends up being the winner. And uh, thanks for watching. If I've offended you, remember these are my subjective rankings with my music listening biases and preferences. So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Yes, and I will be linking this playlist. So stay tuned for that. Okay, bye.